And here we are out in front of Buckingham Palace as all of London and frankly the world is preparing for the royal wedding which is just about a month away now. We're joined now by CBS News royal contributor Victoria Arbiter and Victoria was actually rather, I mean it was an exciting weekend to be in London, there's so much going on, but we had a few details trickle out over the weekend, most notably information on the bachelor party which did happen. It did happen, yes it did and it was a very well kept secret so we only got confirmation this morning but when Harry was announced as the best man I think guys across the world were thinking that's a bachelor a party I want to go to. The boys are <laughs> known for their clubbing, they love a good night out, but it was actually a very demure, very mild, low-key bachelor party. The usual crew were in attendance. Thomas Van Strabalzi, who's uh, one of William's very close friends. Guy Pelly, who owns Mahiki, the infamous nightclub. James Mead was there, and also Kate's brother. So they went for a shooting and outdoor activity weekend in Norfolk at a friend's estate. At a friend's estate. There are about 20 of them, you said, right? Yeah. yeah. So fairly low-key, and I imagine there won't be any pictures that sneak out from that one, likely. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt it. William has got such a loyal group of friends, so I think we'll just have to imagine that one. Now, what about Kate Middleton? In the States, of course, there's a bachelorette party here. It's more of a hen weekend, it's called. Does she have something planned? She'll definitely have a hen weekend. It won't be what a lot of British brides are used to, which is an all-out party in Blackpool or somewhere abroad. But apparently Pippa has reserved places at four different sites in London. She's going to tell the girls on the day where they need to be and exactly what the activities are. And they've also mentioned having a dirty dancing-themed party at the home of Carol Middleton, Kate's mother, and that will include sort of more closer relatives. Dirty Dancing, so the theme from the... From the movie. Interesting. Apparently she's a big theme. fan. There you go. Yeah. The party seemed to have happened a little bit early on, uh, a month out from the wedding for William, but, but that's because he has some other duties he has to get to. He does, and so does Harry. There's a lot going on between now and the wedding. Harry leaves tomorrow for an expedition to the North Pole with four wounded vets. They're raising money for charity. The weekend before the wedding is Easter, and it would be a little unseemly for the future head of the Church of England to be out yes. getting bombed that weekend. And then William's got a couple of royal engagements. He's got his commitments with the Royal Air Force, and so this weekend seemed the most solid. Well, um, there's some speculation about their vows. I was actually at Westminster Abbey this morning uh, with the very Reverend Dean and asked him whether or not there would be any changes. You can't change much about the marriage ceremony in the Church of England. That's right. We're very, very traditional here, and it's rare for couples here to write their own vows. I know they do like to do that in America. The Queen and Princess Anne both had very traditional vows from the 1662 Book of Common Prayer where you promise to love, cherish, and obey. Mm, obey. It seems <laughs> a little archaic these days. Diana was the first and only royal bride to omit the word obey. William is the future king of England. We will all have to With obey him. Ring. So I'm hoping Kate stays modern and ring. doesn't do it. We will see. Uh, there's also been a little bit more leaking out about the relationship between Kate and her future mother-in-law, really, Camilla. And, and they seem to have kind of a nice relationship that's building here. They really do. And I think Camilla has taken on the role of mentor, almost. She knows how hard it is to not only enter the royal family, but prepare yourself to be the future, potentially, queen of England. Mm -hmm. Diana, it was sort of get married and go. She was just left to her own devices, which was incredibly difficult. Camilla has helped Kate tremendously, and in return, Kate has had a few nods towards Camilla. Her youngest granddaughter, her oldest granddaughter, excuse me, is one of the bridesmaids. She's only three. She'll be adorable. <laughs> and the London Chamber Orchestra, who's playing at Westminster Abbey, Camilla is their patron. And so another subtle nod to Camilla, and she's included. A nice way to incorporate her. We also know that there will be two choirs yes. uh, at, the, at the service and at the Abbey. There will be the Westminster Choir. That's right. And the Chapel Royal Choir, mostly children, a few adult singers. What I really like about the musicians chosen, they'll be the state trumpeters from the Household Cavalry and the fanfare band from the Royal Air Force. William is serving with both of those, the Royal Air Force and the Household Cavalry. So again, subtle nods, and it seems that William and Kate are really trying to include everybody that's special in their lives in this service. That they are. Elton John is reportedly <laughs> throwing them a big party, inviting lots of people. I, it, it, does that come at a surprise at all to you? I think it's a little bit surprising, but Elton John was a great friend of Diana. He's not confirmed this party yet, but he's known for legendary parties. He lives in Windsor, so it's just a stone's throw from the royal residence. Um, Victoria and David Beckham are great friends of Elton John as well, and they're supposedly going. And I feel for Victoria Beckham because she's so excited to be pregnant, but these pictures are going to last forever, and I'm not sure she's going to want to be so pregnant right. leading up to the royal wedding. Although I have a feeling if anyone is going to look good and glow while It'll she's pregnant, it will be Victoria Beckham. Yeah. Victoria Arbiter, thanks.